Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at the hexagons generator from classtools.net. I recently wrote about this and shared some other people's blog posts about using this format to help students see connections between subtopics. Let's go ahead and get started here. So let's put it in our title and I'll put in American Revolution. And you can fill in your own instructions here or use the default instructions that Class Tools provides. And then we're going to create the title for each of the hexagons that we're going to have. And you can see on the right hand side the screenshots rolling through of how these hexagons might be arranged by students. So my title is American Revolution. I want to use some causes of the American Revolution here. So I might put in something like the Stamp Act, the Sugar Act the Intolerable Acts, and we'll put in the Boston Tea Party, and we'll put in the Boston Massacre, and we might even add something else. We can go beyond five, we'll add one more, we might say something like uh, the Olive Branch Petition. Now, we have a couple of ways that we can use this with our students. We can either print these out as hexagons that students will cut out from a Word document and then as you can see over here they'll fill in more information or you can have them use it online. Let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see here, here's the online version of it where your students could go in and they could move those elements around and they can go in and they can edit and they can add more information about that and then move the remaining icons you can even go in and change the colors so that's how you can use the hexag hexagon generator from classtools.net as always for more tips and tricks like this please check out freetech4teachers.com